So, cinematic beats are the reason I started making music. A few years ago, I started selling them, but those beats weren't doing really well. Not because they were bad, but I made a lot of mistakes that made it difficult for an artist to rap on my beats. Now, I don't want you to waste years figuring it out yourself. So, let me teach you some tricks that will help you make awesome cinematic beats. Starting with the melody. By the way, I'm using these free plugins so that you guys can easily follow along. Let's use a dark cello or something like that. Ooh, that one is awesome. We're gonna work in the F minor harmonic scale. Okay, create a very simple descending melody. Something like this. Oh, and by using these notes, you will get that dark and mysterious vibe. Okay, that's great. Now, to enhance this melody, add notes like this in between. Now it sounds a little bit static and weird, right? Well, to fix that, decrease the velocity in between the notes gradually. This creates a feeling like it's being played by a real person. Alright, let's create a second melody and see how it fits together. Perhaps a violin or some short pizzicato string that follows along with the melody. You can use a note in the scale such as the C note to create an alternating effect. This can make it sound really dark and is actually used in a lot of stuff. For example, the GTA 4 soundtrack, it, it never gets old. And if it's needed, duplicate the melody and put it an octave higher. That will give it more presence. Oh, always try to shift your melodies between octaves to hear where it sounds best. And at the same time you're doing this, throw an EQ on the master and see where all the instruments sit in the mix. Try to divide the instruments throughout the entire spectrum, that way it's much easier to mix afterwards, because they're already sitting in the correct position. Next, we're gonna increase a specific emotion, and we're gonna do that by using textures. Now you can use a lot of different plugins for this, for example Omnisphere, Serum, Lo-Fi Panda, which is my favorite by the way, or just a stock plugin that comes with FL Studio Lite. Flex. Browse a little bit until you find something you like. Oh, I really like this quantum dust sound. I usually start with one note and make it shorter until I like it. Because you gotta be really careful with this to not overdo it. Otherwise your mix will quickly become muddy. I don't care if you're muddy or not. Next, we're gonna export it to a WAV file so that we have a little bit more control. In the playlist, go to the track your texture is laying on. Right-click it and choose Consolidate. If you choose from Song Start, it will create a WAV file from Beat 1. If you choose from Track Start, it will start right here. There you go. Now you can cut it off, stretch it and do whatever you want. That sounds amazing. Now the next thing we're gonna use is gonna add sudden emotion to the track. Very emotional. These are hits and they will make your beat hit hard, of course. For example, like this. But of course, don't overdo it, otherwise the hits are predictable and that's the complete opposite of what we want to achieve. We want to surprise the viewer, the, the listener. Risers will change your life when making cinematic beats, but we're not just gonna pick one from the internet. We're gonna make them ourselves. First, you wanna open up Addison on the master. Then in the playlist, solo one of the hard-hitting instruments. Just pick one you like. Then press record on Edison and on top, click on play. Then immediately after, click stop. Then stop recording in Edison as well. Next, click on the drag button and throw it in the playlist. Double-click it and choose reverse. There you go. That's a riser. Oh, by the way, if your sound doesn't have a long tail, you can always add a reverb on it before recording it in Edison. Just make sure to remove it afterwards. Guys, the next trick made my beats probably 50% better. Please, download some vocals or acapellas from your favorite rapper or some copyright-free artists. Then you want to drag it in the playlist and make a beat around it. That way you'll know instantly when you're overdoing stuff. And believe me, it happens fast. Okay, now the arrangement is done, but before you upload it, you need to make it sound hard and loud, which you learn here. Goodbye.